In this short video, I'd just like to update my subscribers on something that's happened around APM in the last six odd weeks. As of early February, the firmware for the APM 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 and the APM Mini 3.1 is no longer being developed. And if you're trying to put the very latest versions of the firmware 3.3 or above onto your Arducopter, then you'll get this error on the screen. Mission Planner might also tell you that the board has been retired and that's quite a scary thing to see when you've just spent 40, 50, 60 pounds or dollars buying an APM to install it onto your craft. So I thought it was worthwhile me taking the time to put this video together to let you know that that's happening but also to talk about what it means and also what it means for us going forward and what the options are. What does it mean? Well, first of all, it means that the latest version of the firmware that we can install on an APM is actually 3.2.1, and that came out around the 5th of February this year. APM is an 8-bit board. We've talked about the fact that it's a mature technology in lots of other videos on the channel. Because of that maturity, it flies fantastically well. The firmware is very developed. The hardware is pretty bug-free. There are a couple of glitches now and again, but as a rule, the APM provides a fantastic flight experience for those who don't want to go FPV or acro flying. If you're looking to fly smooth, simple flights with mission planning to allow autonomous operation of your craft, then the APM is still a fantastic choice. It will continue to work. If you already have an APM board, version 1, version 2, or any of the version 3 boards that are 8-bit based, then it will continue to work fine. So any product that you have that's on a model right now that's an APM variant will still continue to work and will still be able to be updated to 3.2.1 as the latest version. If you try to install anything after 3.2.1 onto your board, then you will get that error and the message that it is retired. That's not a problem if your craft is flying fine. There is activity on the forums, people talking about taking over the development of an open source variant so that it can still work with Mission Planner and still carry on being improved and developed. That isn't something I've seen come to fruition yet, but it's something we should all keep our eyes on. If I notice it appear, I'll put a note here on the channel so that you can get a link to it. So that's what it means. Bottom line, as of 3.2.1, no more firmware updates. To be fair, 3.2 was pretty bulletproof anyway, so I'm not worried about this right now. I'm going to continue to fly my APM 3.1 and my APM 2.6 and 2.7 fleet because they work brilliantly for what I use them for and the return to home and the mission planning on these boards is better than any of the others that I currently use. So what next? Well, nothing. If your craft flies great with the APM that you've already got on it or you are bought a new one and you set it up with version 3.2 or 3.2.1 it flies great, then you're golden. You don't need to do anything. If we want to use later versions of the code and stay current with the latest and greatest, then the only option that we have right now is to buy a Pixhawk board. Now the Pixhawk is the 32-bit successor to the APM. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm sure as our friends in China start to ramp up production of um, Pixhawk clones, as people start to move on to that technology in light of the announcement, we'll start to see that price come down. Doesn't always have to be APM if you're looking for a nice flying platform that you can use to do things like video, acro or FPV. There are other great 32-bit boards that we've talked about on the channel and you can look at the information on those to find out more. There's the NAS A32, the GPS modes on there are changing all the time and getting a little bit better. I wouldn't say it's quite there yet, but it will be soon. You have the CC Revolution, which is a lovely flying board, very smooth, but the Revolution is quite hard to get hold of right now. Or you've got the Multi-Wii, and the Multi-Wii is a implementation that was similar to the APM in the fact that it's Arduino-based-ish, but it does have very solid GPS functionality. So if you don't want the full GPS abilities 
of the 8pm and you're looking at buying one and now you don't want to look at the 8pm because of this announcement, you have a couple of other options. If you want mission planning, the option is Pixhawk. The good news is I will be looking at getting a Pixhawk in the coming months and cover the setup of that in the same way that we did the APM series so that you can see the differences between the two. It still uses Mission Planner, a lot of the procedures are exactly the same, a lot of the additional elements that plug into it like GPS, external LEDs, buzzers, power units, other bits and pieces are identical too. So I'll cover that on the channel and we'll probably take the APM off one of my other models and replace it with a Pixhawk so that not only can you set a Pixhawk up from scratch but you also have an idea of how you could swap out an APM if you have a big expensive multi-rotor that you use for something like aerial photography or filming and you want to replace it with a current generation board. So thank you for spending the time with me. Hopefully that will put some of your minds at rest. For others, it will have made up your mind that you need to upgrade to Pixhawk or one of the other platforms. In summary, I would say APM is still a fantastic choice and an awful lot of technology for the money. The fact that it is retired and it's an 8-bit platform will put some people off. But as my grandfather used to say, if something works, don't bugger about with it. APM, in my experience, just works. So for now, I'm going to keep using mine. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.